Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cherry Becker Technology Podcast. My name is Jerry Herodin, and I'm pleased to host the latest episode in a brief series we put together talking about the year of efficiency. As tech and business leaders are looking for efficiencies in nearly every aspect of their business, they need solutions to help them save cost and to make informed decisions quickly. So far in this series, you've heard from members of our accounting advisory team discuss process improvements for your accounting department. Today, I am joined by two of my colleagues, Tertius Eckstein and Pamela Butler. We are part of Cherry Beckert's digital advisory practice in which we provide clients strategic and tactical support to drive digital transformation. Tertius, Pamela, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Jerry. Looking forward um, to our discussion. Thank you, Jerry. Well, thank you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. What I'd like us to discuss today and share with our audience are real examples of how some technology companies are truly optimizing their business and doing more with less. I'm sure our audience is all too familiar with experiencing firsthand the pressures of making processes more efficient automating as much as possible, and possibly even trying to do this with a reduced staff. So I'd like to start with you, Tertius. Can you give us a high-level overview of what robotic process automation, or RPA, is? Yeah, thanks, Jerry. So RPA is a solution that businesses can use to automate repetitive tasks and processes it mimics human actions such as uh, clicking on buttons, entering data, and even processing um, documents in, in the background. So Tertius, how does RPA help organizations on a digital transformation journey? Surely there are four main benefits for organizations that use RPA. The first one is increasing efficiency, and that is by automating repetitive tasks. Um, and by doing this, businesses can save time and money. The second benefit is improving accuracy, as as we mentioned, mimics the activities of a human, um, like entering data or hitting um, a button. So by using RPA, you're reducing human errors and businesses can use that to improve the accuracy and then also in the long term compliance. The third benefit is around flexibility, because by using RPA, businesses can be uh, can actually gain um, agility. And then the, one of the, the big benefits of an RPA is it improves scalability. So as your um, business activity increase or decrease, the RPA um, can easily adjust to these increased um, demands that you won't be able to do with a human a user. Do you have any success stories about how RPA has been used to improve customer operations? Yes, of course. So um, we are working on a solution for a telemedicine company uh, and we're using MuleSoft RPA to automate and enhance um, the precision and the efficiency of the manual invoicing and accounts payable processes. Now, these processes are uh, currently rely on, on spreadsheets and it takes up to 60 minutes a day. And obviously the potential for bottlenecks uh, in the billing process is is high. So that became the single point of failure. Um, they're also concerned that it's one individual entering all the data and uh, ma- managing the data. So if um, she is on vacation, then obviously there's, there's a, um, a delay in getting the billing processed. So that new solution that we're developing for them will significantly reduce the process in time. So I, I mentioned it It currently takes them 60 minutes a day, and we anticipate that with an RPA, we will reduce the time by 90%, um, while also improving the accuracy and com- compliance. Um, and also the, another benefit is now the company will be able to perform these um, daily processes outside regular work hours if they need to. Well, that's that's great for everyone, and that's a very high percentage uh, to reduce the processing time. So, so that's that's good to hear. Um, let's talk about efficiencies and Salesforce tools. 
one being a self-service portal. And Pamela, this is for you. Can you talk about what this is and how it can help a customer? Yes, of course, Jerry. So a strong community and knowledge base really helps companies keep call volume low so your agents can stay available for more complex or urgent cases and really empowering customers to find solutions independently through self-help options. And that really results in improved efficiency overall and just reduce support costs and enhance customer satisfaction. So, you know, Salesforce really provides that seamless experience for customers and agents. And with the help of a self-service portal, a personalized experience can truly create um, that experience for customers where they can access the knowledge base to find answers to frequently ask questions on their own or be you know, guided to any external links to important sites or uh, even submit cases or, or even track the progress of their case. And, you know, the, these can be these cases can be created uh, records that can be routed internally and notified to designated support representatives. Cool. That is really great stuff. So it sounds like having that self-service option in the Experience Cloud Portal would really not only empower customers by providing instant access to information, but it would also enable faster issue resolution for support agents, giving customers more control over their interactions with the company. And that sounds like a win-win to me. But that also begs another question. What if the customer's question wasn't answered through the knowledge base? Yeah, that that's a great question, Jerry. And with the use of chatbots, uh, it can be easily configured to instantly respond to common inquiries or or even route the chat to an available agent through the feature of Omnichannel. And Omnichannel is basically Salesforce's tool for intelligent routing. Uh, so Omnichannel routing, which provides customer service through multiple channels, basically routes cases to the right agent based on um, you know, things like skills, agent workload and and it even checks for their availability so when omnichannel routes work items it manages the agent workload for you and it really considers an agent's capacity to take on more work and their availability so you know one agent doesn't get overloaded while others are waiting Additionally, you know, omnichannel routing ensures that customers can interact with your organization through their preferred channels, and such as things like uh, phone, email, chat, social media, or even SMS. So this flexibility ultimately provides that convenience and comfort to customers, and it just really results in improved customer satisfaction. So if customers per, uh, switch channels per se during their interaction journey, Omnichannel facilitates that seamless channel handoff. And what that does, it, it, it really ensures that the context and, and history of the interaction are maintained as customers transition from one channel to another. Hmm. Interesting, okay, so, so that all sounds really good. So, but there's another question uh, that I have. What if an agent isn't available because a question arises during non-working hours? Yes, absolutely, Jerry. And, and that's uh, very common. And um, if the customer submits a case through the self-service portal or a case gets created through the interaction with a chat bot through the portal, a case can simply get created from these interactions and then assigned to a queue or individual to take on when they become available. And it's it's really that easy. Priorities can be set on the case and notifications can go out to the appropriate individuals. You can choose what criteria you want to define um, that business process all from the interaction the customer had 
through the self-service portal. So that is great that Omnichannel is ensuring customer satisfaction. So what I'm hearing you say is that customer inquiries are promptly addressed and routed to the right resources, even when a representative is not available. And as we know, prompt attention and quick turnaround is really key to a customer's perception and loyalty to a company. Absolutely, Jerry. And just to add to that, when the case is created within the service console, all the details about the case can be tracked all on one page. So think of all the things on, you know, being tracked on a case such as a service level agreement, uh, milestones to help organizations effectively manage and measure their service performance, any prioritization and escalation on cases to manage customer expectations, to ensure the organization is really delivering efficient and effective service to its customers. So customer details such as contact information, case details, any related records to the case, or recommended knowledge articles through something called Einstein recommendations. And so Einstein powered AI that enables you to create custom recommendations based on a standard or custom object in this example on the case to ultimately provide those recommended knowledge articles so that the service agent can says quickly share out the knowledge article with the customer. So there, there's much, much more capability and functionality that can really streamline business processes and take out the need for manual business processes within the Salesforce platform. But, you know, as always, so much to cover, not enough time, but Terry Beckert is always here to help walk through this in more detail with tech companies who want to explore more. Yeah, isn't that so right? There's never enough time. Hey, Pamela, that was excellent information. Now, Tertius, I, I want to bring you back in here. I know much of what we covered is only the tip of the iceberg. So what are next steps for someone listening who realizes this kind of solution could be beneficial for their company or they just want to learn more? Yes, Jerry, we uh, offer a free design workshop to help companies assess potential Salesforce or MuleSoft RPA solutions for their business. During this design workshop, we typically work with a company to identify the problem areas in their current processes and then explore with them in the workshop how Salesforce or MuleSoft RPA can be used to automate these tasks and to improve their efficiency. Um, They can find links to our contact information in the show notes of this podcast or by visiting cbh.com backslash digital. All right, fantastic. Well, Pamela Tertius, thank you so much for the discussion today. Like I said, this is just scratching the surface of ways in which companies can do more with less by leveraging certain technologies. And you and your team clearly have such a wealth of knowledge. So I hope our listeners are encouraged to keep learning more. As always, We appreciate you tuning in to Cherry Beckert's Technology Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and follow along so you don't miss the next episode in this series on how to optimize operations for your technology company in the year of efficiency.